Propping properly means getting the most from an outboard. That includes yours. From large offshore boats to water sports boats, fast boats to pontoons, there's a propeller solution that's just right for your application. Getting the correct fit, size, and material ensures optimal acceleration, top end speed, handling, and even fuel efficiency. But before you prop, let's prep you to chat with your dealer, who can help steer you in the right choice for your boat. First, prop size is generally two numbers representing diameter and pitch expressed in inches. If there's another, it represents the number of blades. The diameter is the total width of the circle the prop makes as it spins, from blade tip to blade tip. The larger the diameter, the more water pushes, so as you probably guessed, larger, heavier boats need bigger props. Pitch is a bit harder to wrap your head around. It represents the distance a prop would theoretically cover in one full turn if traveling through a solid. But what you really need to know is that a lower pitch offers greater acceleration and pushing power with lower top speed, while a higher pitch prop provides less acceleration but a greater potential for higher top speeds. Propping with too low of a pitch can make the engine rev higher than it should and hit the limiter. Propping with too high of a pitch could mean the engine doesn't meet its specified maximum RPM range. Cup is the small curved lip on the blade tip and or trailing edge. Cup can help reduce ventilation and prop slippage, allowing for greater mounting heights and greater bow lift. But too much cup will cause excessive steering torque and bow lift, limiting the engine's ability to maintain proper RPM. Three bladed props are the most common, offering good overall performance, top speed and efficiency for a wide variety of applications. Four blades generally provide increased acceleration, enhanced bow and stern lift, and reduced ventilation. But they also typically mean more drag on the engine, resulting in lower top speeds and different handling characteristics. Aluminum props are very common because they're less expensive. They offer a good compromise between cost, performance, and durability, and are suited for most low to mid power applications. Aluminum is also a good choice if frequent prop damage is a possibility. It's relatively soft, so you're less likely to damage the engine's lower unit if you hit an object. Stainless steel props are much more durable than aluminum and offer performance advantages. They offer more bow lift than their aluminum counterparts, resulting in a smoother ride in rough water or at high speeds. Speaking of speed, stainless props also offer better acceleration than aluminum. When it comes to properly propping, there is no single magic prop that's perfect for all boat types and applications. There's a long list of factors to consider, but there are ways to narrow in on what you need. As a general rule, the correct prop will allow your engine to reach the upper end of its wide open throttle range specified by the manufacturer, without exceeding it with a normal to heavy load. When determining your average load in the boat, be sure to account for all things such as fuel, full bait and or live wells, batteries, passengers, and your gear. That includes safety items like anchors, ropes, and fire extinguishers. When you're ready to call your dealer to discuss propping your boat, it's best to have some basic info handy. Boat make, model, and year. Engine model and primary identification number current prop size and style, current maximum RPM at wide open throttle, typical and maximum loads carried. This will help them hone in on the prop that's just right for you. It goes without saying that on-water testing is always best as each application is different. Some dealers will even be able to test out a few options for you, providing real world results to get you to your final decision. At the end of the day, invest some time and energy into finding the proper prop and you'll be sure to get the most out of your boat and engine.